that is again another separate course. Mm. Yeah. Is it a lot of them? A lot of them, actually. Serious? Yeah. Those are not uh, expensive, right? Are they very expensive? They are expensive. Mm. They are expensive. There was even uh, one stand of actually. Yeah. Of uh, Arabi's son. Mm. When the, <coughs> the mission in Central Africa was starting. Yeah. like this, the, the Central African Republic and these other places, war-torn places. I, I thought I thought these are funded by the UN. Yes. So why why would would, would you have uh, a Zambian involved in such a scam? <laughs> or they would give you like funding and then you you procure, let's say, armored vehicles you might need or something. So what it is that um, for you to actually qualify to be given. Uh, that slot to go and save in a mission uh -huh. as a military, you need to be assessed mm. on your capacity. I see. Yeah. So personnel, do you have enough personnel? How about military, combat equipment? I see. You need to have enough. Because the UN does not buy that equipment. Oh. But when you are in the mission, you deploy your own equipment the UN will be re reimbursing you mm -hmm. for using your own equipment. So we actually move, so we, we, there are armored vehicles that we moved from here? Yes. How they, they are move? shipped. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So the UN inspectors will actually come before you deploy. The UN inspectors will come and inspect what you have. You display what you have. To, for when they you pass that inspection that okay you have satisfied the UN yeah. <coughs> inspectors that you have proper equipment yeah then you are the memorandum of understanding is signed so that explains why I was wondering right a, a few days ago and I, and I actually remembered what you told me about uh, Dr. Manda yes when you said he was going to to go to Central Republic. Republic I think the Minister of Defense or something was yes. there yes. and I was wondering why one of the issues you were saying is, you know, we want our army personnel to have uh, all the equipment they need. And I, I sat there and I'm thinking, well, if this stuff is funded by the UN, right, why why is it that uh, we, are, we are really talking about these like, trivial things? <laughs> but now it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So you need to have your own... But when you get there, actually, then you will reimburse you for using that equipment. Yeah. Starting from tents. I hope this guy is not very. Really if you have deployed your own tents for soldiers, even uniforms. Okay. Everything has a rate by the UN, they will, they will actually reimburse you. Oh! Mm. <laughs> Intriguing. Mr. Big Boss, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right. I'm going to turn to now. Yeah, I need to put it. Ah. I don't normally, I don't drive often, right? So. Izure. Mm. Izure, full tank, sir. Okay. okay. I remember asking this. Uh... All right, thank you. Gentleman, not too long ago, there's a somewhere near by spot. Mm. I'm, I'm always curious, Nati. Do, do are there people that run away? Right? Because <laughs> I mean, it's uncommon. You know, when you're buying something, you pay money first, right? <laughs> but with fuel, it's I guess it's an element of trust. And this guy was telling me it has happened to me before. You know, I, 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 sorry. I, I asked I asked the same question mm -hmm. to one of the fuel attendants at Indian filling station. There's a place in Indian along. 
uh, Chirimbu Road. Yeah. That place, Pakangwa, where I usually refuel. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, so, I was like, card. I think I came on a team I came. What do you think? You guys are going to get a Ah, sometimes you don't much tea. And, and unfortunately, but, I think. Has it happened? I know, you know, these people, some <laughs> people actually. <laughs> Not about my name, nine at my time. There's even one time when a bus driver came. No book of my tea at five hundred and sixty. But boy, five hundred and sixty. Then no car, palace, and like about fifty six quarts. It's stupid, right? I mean, go. No, but so what did you do at Kulibonga Station and Akana and you went just like that? So now they had to deduct from my salary. <laughs> <laughs> I'd know soon I'm the same boy that I got married to. Yeah, that's, that's not nice, right? That's horrible. Uh, can you help me? You have got how many liters? It's uh, thirty-two point seven three. Two point seven. Oh. It's, oh, I haven't done this yet, right? You want to... What happened then? Try to remove the Asunka. Thank you. Oh, the plane. No, it was... It was loose. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. okay, if, if, if I was a bus driver, I'd, I'd tell this person, say, I'll mark you, I'll, I'll start coming through to give you my. <laughs> this was just a ploy, right? You understand what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. just trying to. You could actually say, oh, you made a mistake. I mean, yeah. I'll be coming through. <laughs> Uh, to left. On the right. You can use either no, side. No, I was thinking of. Oh, there's a. Like a oh, but the, No. Yeah. No. So you still are forced to go this way. Yeah. Like an island. Yeah. Yeah, it's a like like it's it's a, it's it's the right thing to do, right? You. Come from here. From here, yeah. I'm not sure that there was a lot of Yes, that's okay. Uh, so it means you have to. No, you can't. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah, I mean, if, if, I, if, I, if I was that bus driver, just say, for example, we're up on one, I'll give you back to me. Rather than just say, like, I'm a 556. <laughs>
So that place we went to see yesterday. Uh-huh. Ah, Madame is one who has really been pushing to find you. <laughs> to, to, find, to find the place or to go and check that place? To find the place, to look for the plot. To okay, it. yeah. So she just told me I was still at work the, the other day. Yeah. <clears throat> she said, ah, no, they have spoken to some, some agent from Horizon Properties. Yeah. Area. Foxdale. Mm. Foxdale area is, uh, you know, the boundaries in this country of ours. You, know, you can't. Uh, they're a bit mm. iffy, but um, mm. there's some people that will tell you that, uh, you know, I'll show you. Mm. It's, it's um, I don't know if that's Apex Campus or something. Somewhere okay. beginning there is where, I don't know what the boundaries are. I don't know if part of left, for instance, is Foxdale. It should be. Because of right, it's Minwood Kwamwena. So this is Minwood. Yeah, this is Kwamwena, phase, um, this is phase, I'm not sure if this is one or two, this should be one or something. Okay. Yeah, but at some point there's another boundary where, uh, to the left, or uh, I guess, where are we now? North, no, I've lost my bearing anyway. Would be Foxtel and then Kuno Oh. Yeah. So, um, but I normally like using, um, there's, there's, a. Um, there's a Foxdale Court housing development. Just okay. a few, yeah, I use that as, as as a basis to determine where some of these boundaries are. <coughs> um, but but Foxdale Forest is um, just off Zambezi Extension. Is it Zambezi Road? Mm-hmm. A junction past Zambezi Road and Zambezi Extension Road. Anyway, yeah, um, it's where the entrance, I think, the main entrance, one of the main entrances is. I think it shares a boundary with uh, Cabanana also. Oh, Cabanana, yeah. yeah. So I've been sneaking suspicion all of this is Foxdale. Yeah. Maybe boundary near road. Yeah. Near road or something. Um, yeah, so we went to that place. Uh, the, the road which is there is uh, 45, 45 by 27 meters. It's 45 by 27. Mm. Okay. 45 by 27. And uh, we told the owner, the owner is trying to sell off that property because it's, um, it's already on title. Okay, I was actually going to ask, yeah. say, is it on title? It's already on title. And the owner wants to <coughs> sell off that place because I'm told the wife has a medical condition. Oh. Yeah. Which requires a lot of bills, medical bills, I don't know yeah. how it is. Yeah. So, Little Panda. It's a school. This is a, I don't know if it's a school. Little Panda International school. school. It's like it. And then it's like they had already started. I don't know what the plans were. And this is one thing that really discouraged me. Yeah. 
just uh, let me say along Shant- the same Shantumbo road. Yeah. There's just I think one slightly bigger plot which is just adjacent to the road. Then the next one. Uh huh. Yeah. So the owner in one one corner mm. decided to build a two bedroom house. Okay. Yeah. Actually went up to the point where. By the way, the overlooking roof. us, where the, these two are consistent roofs, yeah. Yeah. that area is where you have fox tail. This is this, this dog stolen or something. It looks like mm-hmm. exotic, right? Uh, this fox tail court, I think. Uh, to my, uh, where you see two consistent roofs. Yeah. So you're saying to the corner they have. Yeah, they put up a structure. They are trying to build a two-bedroom house. It went up to the roof. Okay. So they want to get rid of that as well? No. Uh, yes, yeah, together with the plot. Yeah. Okay. Well, that explains why maybe... At how much is it? 250. That explains why 250. Because if they've gone up to roof level, it's quite a bit that went into... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they actually did the proper thing, actually. They dug the foundation, built the box, put the slab, um, which looks well fortified, actually. Okay. And, um, they finished completely, put a ring top. Yeah. The next thing is to put up the roof. Oh. Uh, so her point was maybe what we can do is finish off this uh, structure, which is a moving whilst you know and stop paying rent and channel those resources. Oh, that's to, madam. Yeah, to okay. bringing up a proper structure there as mm-hmm. a house. Yeah. But then, even that structure that is there so is way too small. Oh. I don't know what the owner's plans were. I thought you said it's a two bedroom. It's two oh. bedroom, but uh, yeah, tiny rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, uh, you, could, you could tell that uh, his plan was, I think, to face, face it off within that plot. Mm. Because he had already put the sock away and uh, the septic tank. Oh. He has already put a septic tank and the soak away for that place. Yeah. So I think all of this is Foxtel. The soccer pigs might be invested as a campus. Foxtel campus oh, is right here. Foxtel. Yeah. Oh. So, but what, what, what was the final verdict? Ah, the final verdict was. What have you guys decided? We haven't. Okay. We haven't finalized the decision. What, what sort of payment? Uh, options were made available. One cash or <coughs> the, the the payment plan that we were given by the agent because they're saying you don't interact with the owner mm-hmm. but okay. with the agent. So oh, okay. yeah okay. but if uh, I'm sure it's a hefty commission <laughs> <laughs> yeah but at least New Horizon I mean they've been around for quite some yes, time. Yes, yes. So anyway, the, the issue was that you have to pay 50%. Okay. Yeah, 50% and then the remainder to be paid in three months. Mm, that's a good... Uh, mm. But then, <coughs> I, 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 I actually called him and told him, look, since you have denied us access to the owner, but I'll, I'll tell you what uh, options that we can afford. Yeah. We can afford not 50%, because 50% of 250 is 125. Yeah. We can afford a cash payment of 100,000. Yeah. And then the remainder we can pay it as 18,000 quarter per month ah. until we complete. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, okay, give me time, let me talk to the owner. I don't know whether it was true that he was talking to the owner, boss, but after Japan, 30 minutes, he called back. <laughs> Yeah. Called back and timing, said, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he called back and said, uh, "No, the owner has agreed to that uh, payment plan." Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I was trying to see if I can call these people to find out. I don't know how I'd feel about crossing a rail, rail crossing to get into. So this is it, Foxdale Forest. Oh. Yeah. So I, I normally make calls before going there to. You know, Chan, I don't think we have uh, an alert system saying there's a train coming. You understand? Really? Do we? I don't think so. Right? I don't think so. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm usually a bit apprehensive. And you 
find that even the same which train it will only sound the horn. Yeah. From a strategic positions where maybe the, there's a railroad crossing, that's yeah. when it was so Munga it's almost insignificant. He will just be cruising. Yeah. Mm.